uh, grounds. Uh, it goes through a uh, Capital Arts Standards Commission, but before that you actually have the appointment of a monument committee. So you have a monument committee that is, uh, once they have that decided upon, it will be, goes to the Capital Arts Standards Commission and the monument committee is dissolved. Uh, the monuments to be uh, procured and placed here uh, uh, on the Capitol grounds, and that's basically it. Okay. Um, and my understanding is that the funding for this monument is not going to come from public funds. That is absolutely correct. No taxpayer funds will no be used. No taxpayer funds. Okay. Um, do we have any questions from the committee? I'm sorry, where's the funding for this committee? It'll be privately raised funds, just like we did for um, the last statue that was placed on the grounds. Well, I want to. We're going to allow for questions, and we got members that just showed up, and um, I want to give them a little time to review what we're doing here. We're we are reviewing just as a recap. We are looking at SB 69, the monument honoring Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas. Are there any questions? All right, seeing none, now would be the appropriate time. I've got a. I'll go ahead. All right, we got a motion of due pass from Senator Chairman Albers. I've got a second from Chairman Lee Anderson. Uh, any further discussion? All right, all in favor, raise your right hand. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I'm voting again. <laughs> we got eight. All opposed, same sign. Uh, we got two no's. Uh, Senator Harbison. All right. Can't can't abstain, but you can walk. So, if you'd like to walk, and now you're back. So, um, all right. <laughs> Motion passes. So that will go. Um, that will move. Get the committee report tomorrow. And then we'll be available on the for rules on Thursday. And then it'll be available potentially to be on the floor for Monday. Okay, moving on. Uh, next we have Senate Resolution 65. Um, Senator Kennedy of Macon. Uh, would you like to, you want to stay there or you want to go up there? Can I stay here, Mr. Sure thing. Yeah. You're the president. All right, thank you. Mr. Chairman, and thank you. So I bring before you uh, Senate Resolution 65. Uh, very simple and straightforward. This honors United States Senator, former United States Senator Kelly Leffler uh, for the work that she did uh, while in her service to the Senate and to the state, and also in particular for the work she did through her organization that she created, Greater Georgia, uh, which did great things to register more voters, voters uh, engage diverse communities, and I don't feel any love, Senator. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> um, all right. Two dogs to go. And ensured uh, continued success and prosperity of the great state of Georgia. And so uh, this is simply uh, and way, as we all know, those sitting around this table, one of the things that we do to honor various folks that are deserving of such honor. And I think that clearly Senator Kelly Leffler is one of those. And I would encourage you to vote for Senate Resolution 65. All right, thank you, Mr. Pro Tem. Are there any questions from the committee? I'm just ready to make a motion when. If All right, no questions. Okay, I've got to uh, I'll move, recognize Senator Beach. Were you move S I move that SR 65 do pass. All right, we got a motion of SR 65 do pass. That's LC number one two six zero zero six five. I've got a second from Chairman Ginn. Any further discussion? All in favor, raise your right hand. Count. All opposed, same sign. We've got three no's. All right, motion due passes. Thank Again, you. this will um, we'll get read out of committee tomorrow, be available for rules on Thursday. So. Uh, 
no further business, uh, this meeting is adjourned.